Have you seen my new tie, Mary? Which new tie? The blue one I bought in London a couple of weeks ago. I wore it to the dinner party at the Jack's place on Sunday. I haven't worn it or seen it since. No, I don't think I've seen it this week. Have you looked for it properly? I expect you threw it carelessly into the back of the wardrobe after the party. That's what you always do. I've looked for it everywhere. Have you tidied up my bedroom again, and put all my things away in new places where I'll never find them? I always put your ties away in the wardrobe where they belong. Don't blame me. Are you sure you haven't worn that tie since Sunday? No, I don't think so. On Monday you went out with Tim, and I think you put it on then. You didn't come in until 2 o'clock in the morning. Perhaps you took it off in Tim's house and left it there. I remember now. It was a bit hot, and I took my tie off in the car on the way home on Monday. I suppose it's still on the shelf under the dashboard. As usual you've only got yourself to blame. Oh please. Stop it. I'm going to go and get my tie. I'll see you later. What's happened to all those nice old houses here? Some workmen have knocked them down. I know. But why? They are going to build a huge factory. Will they finish it this year? No, they won't finish it this year. They'll have completed it by the end of next summer. Who designed all of this? Some architect called Jason designed it. Are they going to knock down any more houses? Yes, they are. They're already knocking down one or two others. Who makes these decisions about redevelopment? The council always makes these decisions. Can't you do anything about it? We can't do anything at all. Didn't you know about the plans before you bought your house? If they had told me about it, I wouldn't have bought the house. I see. I'm sorry to hear that. I don't know what to do. Don't worry. We'll think of something.
Do you think I can borrow the car tonight, Mom? No, you can't. Your father and I will be using it. We're going to an important meeting. But they aren't holding the meeting tonight. Aren't they? How do you know? I heard Dad telling Mr. Parker it had been postponed for a week. Well, he didn't mention it to me. If that's the case you can use the car. But don't cram it with too many of your friends again. There must have been seven or eight of you in it last week. Well, Tim's car had broken down, so ours was the only one available. Anyway there are only six of us this week. That car's only meant to take five people. You'll break the springs. We're only going to a party. I'll drive slowly and gently. I promise. Another of those parties. You're going to be home at midnight. Okay, Mom. Thank you. Don't be late. I won't. Bye.